Hello YouTube, today I wanted to talk to you about what I've been listening to recently. And we'll start off with um, Double Fantasy by John Lennon and Yoko Ono. This has been um, an album that I wanted to check out in John's discography. I haven't listened to it before, so I was really excited to check it out. And um, I'll say it's it's okay. Um, it's nothing that I haven't heard from John before. It was nothing new, but... Um, as far as Yoko Ono, I really enjoyed her contribution in this album, and um, it just reassured to me that I, I have interest in her music, and um, I really enjoyed when I listened to uh, Plastic Ono Band, her release that she did. Um, that really sparked the interest that I had in her music, so it just reassured to me that I, I like her music, so I'll definitely be checking out more of her discography, but... As far as this whole album goes, it's it's okay. And the next album that I was listening to was Songs of Leonardo Cohen. And um, this is just a classic album. I got to re-listen to this. I really enjoyed it years ago and still do. And um, it's just an album that stands the test of time. And people will be listening to this for years to come. It's just a great classic album. And the next album we have is uh, Bookends and uh, by si Simon and Garfunkel. And uh, this is used to be one of my like top three albums. I used to be, like, back in like 2018, when I first started to take the bus to the city, I would put this on with like uh, Nico and I would walk up to Central Park and just, I feel like the colors of the city just really shined and, I just got to experience like such an amazing experience experience listening to this album and Nico's album and experience experiencing Manhattan and Central Park and it was just such a beautiful experience and this album's great it's a classic and it's so poetic and beautiful but um I've also been listening to some Elliot Smith, um, he has some great albums in his discography, and, uh, yeah. As of more recently, though, I've been listening to, um, some Jackson C. Frank, um, I've really been enjoying this album, it has, uh, definitely a Simon and Garfunkel-like vibe to it, and, uh, I'm pretty sure it was produced by Paul Simon, so that's why it sounds so similar, and, um, I really enjoy this album, it's, it's really poetic and uh speaking about Simon and Garfunkel I wanted to bring up uh Art Garfunkel's album that I feel like doesn't get enough recognition and it's uh Breakaway and if you guys want to listen to this album I would definitely recommend it it has um it has a cover track of the Beach Boys uh Disney Girls which is uh such a sweet like song and uh it's also followed up by um waters of uh march and i feel like this track really like it really made the whole album click for me and it's just the whole al album in general is such a sweet uh album and i really enjoy it and uh 99 miles from la is also another sweet track and yeah you guys should definitely check this album out if you haven't listened to it before but um as far as um anything else I've been listening to. I got the audiobook of Bob Dylan's Chronicles and I've really been enjoying that. Um, it just talks about Bob Dylan's uh, encounters of um, the city, New York City, um, especially Manhattan, Greenwich Village in the early 60s and I just feel like it's a great audiobook, not even if you're interested in Bob Dylan or music, just to understand um, on uh, New York City and also um also the city in the 60s I feel like it's just a great um book and also audio book um to understand the city and just it's very good entertainment just to listen to it and understand what the city's like but um yeah it's it's really nice uh, I still have to finish it I'm I'm on I think track four or five but I I'm going to be listening to it and enjoying it, but, um, as far as all that goes, that's what I've been listening to recently, and, um, yeah, 
I'll have some more uh, videos uh, coming out this week, but I'll be slowing down my posting schedule from the previous schedule, but um, I hope you guys don't mind that, but yeah, but you should be expecting a new video later this week, but um, that's all. Peace, guys.